In this example, we will find the flexural capacity of a one-way slab. Um, so we're given our slab section is seven inches deep. Uh, we have a spacing of eight inches for our number six bars. Um, and we can remember that our number six bars have an area of 0.44 um, square inches. Uh, we have our four KSI concrete and 60 KSI steel, and we're given our D. So in one-way slabs, we're going to look at a one foot wide uh, strip. So we're going to find our area of steel. Um, in our one foot strip. So we can do that. We'll call this AS by taking our 0.44 square inches divided by 8 inches, which is uh, the spacing. So we have 0.44 inch square inches per um, 8 inches, and then take this times uh, 12 inches, which is our strip width. So we'll get point six six um, inches squared and I'm going to label this per foot. Uh, we can now make sure that uh, our section is tension controlled um, so we can find our row uh, which will be 0 0.66 inches squared per foot divided by BD. So our B we have a 12 inch strip and our D is 5.75 So we find our row is uh, 0 0.0096. Um, so we can remember that our row uh, for tension controlled um, for 4 KSI concrete and 60 KSI steel is going to be 0 0.018. Um, so we can see that our row tension control is greater than our row, so we know um, that our section will be tension controlled. Uh, we'll then find our um, flexural strength using the same procedure that we did for beams. We'll use the same uh, equations that we did before, so we'll first need to find our beta 1. Um, so for us, we have uh, 4 KSI Concrete, so our beta 1 is uh, equal to 0.85. Uh, so then we can find our C. Um, so we're going to find our C using our area of steel per foot. So we have 0.66 uh, inches squared per foot times 60 KSI uh, divided by 0.85 times our 4 KSI concrete, uh, times our B, where we have a 12 inch width. Uh, we're looking, remember, we're looking at a, a one foot strip and our beta one is 0.85. Um, so we'll find our C to be 1.14 inches. Um, and then we can plug this in and find our nominal moment capacity. So we have 0.66 inches squared per foot times 60 KSI, our yield strength of our steel, times our D, which was 5.75 inches minus uh, 0 0.85 times 1.14 divided by 2. And we'll find our uh, nominal moment to be 208. Kip inches uh, per foot. Uh, we can also find the strain in our steel using uh, similar triangles in our uh, strain diagram like we have before. Um, so 0 0.003 D, so 5.75 minus C, 1.14 divided by C, 1.14 uh, to give us a uh, a strain of 0 0.012. Um, so we can see we're tension controlled. So then um, our phi 
mn is just going to be 0.9 times our 208, uh, which will be 187.2 uh, kip inches per foot. So this is our factored nominal capacity and our unfactored uh, nominal capacity for uh, the given sl uh, slab that we started with.